How to Train Labrador Retrievers Participate in the Study and Explanation of this topic David Levin is the owner of a dog training and walking center in the San Francisco Bay Area. David has more than nine years experience in the field, and his center was nominated for the Best Dog Training in San Francisco Award in 2019, 2018 and 2017. He also ranked first by SF Examiner and A-List in 2017, 2016 and 2015. David is proud of the quality of service that the center offers to clients and the level of care that dogs receive, contrary to the skills and reputation of the center's staff. The Labrador Retriever is one of the most popular and well-known dog species in many areas. These dogs are known to be family-friendly, kind, and easy to train and their colors vary, so they are black, brown and yellow. Labrador dogs are very active animals, especially since this species has been crossbred and trained to work, hunt and run all day. These dogs are used in many noble jobs, such as guide and assistance dogs for the blind, search and rescue operations, and police dogs to detect drugs, due to their ease of training and their high ability to do so. Labrador Retriever can also become a great family member. Method 1 Follow Typical Training Methods 1 Start Training Your Dog Early Labrador Retrievers grow up to be a bit bulky to become fun and entertaining dogs. Show your love and praise your dog frequently when he behaves well. If you build a strong relationship with your dog from the start, this will benefit you in his future training process. Make training sessions short and fun with puppies 8 to 12 weeks old. For example, if you bring a new puppy with you home, take him to the garden area and encourage and praise him when he uses it. It will be done at first by chance, but despite his young age, you're saying it's time to get rid of need when squatting will still be appropriate, then praise him a lot after doing so. This will help your dog associate his behavior with praise and will tend more to repeat these good actions. You can start with simple orders like sit down. Training a small puppy is easy, because all you have to do is wait for him to sit down, and when he flexes his hind legs to sit, say sit and praise him afterwards. He will be confused at first, but will associate the word with the verb after that. 2. Never hit your dog. Hitting Labrador retrievers when they misbehave is not a good way to train. The dog will be afraid of you instead of learning which will completely eliminate the training process because his fear of you is not the desired result. 3. Reward your dog for the actions you want to encourage. Rewarding your dog for good behavior is a more beneficial and constructive method than punishment for bad behavior during the training process. Plan to give your dog the order and then give him candy or reward immediately after carrying out your order, this will strengthen the link between behavior and reward in your dog's mind. Start with simple commands like sit down and keep training them until they are good at doing that. When your dog gets used to repeating the verb with the word assigned to it, start reducing candy or rewards. A dog that gets candy and a reward every time his owner executes is a drooping dog, because candy has become easy. When you stop giving him candy at once, your dog will think a lot and make him wonder if he hasn't sat down or done right or right so he will work harder to make you happy and satisfy you. You can reward him after the fourth or fifth order so he always focuses on getting candy without feeling hard to reach. 4. Try training with a tap. Click training is to have the dog associate the click device you click with the reward. The great thing about using a click device is the ability to distinguish the specific moment when your dog did the right thing, which links that behavior and reward. Labradors are highly trainable because their main incentive is food, making click training appropriate for them. Learn how to train your dog with a tap. Your dog will eventually learn that clicking is followed by rewards and sweets, which is a great incentive for Labrador retrievers. When your dog understands this link, you can use the tap to set the moment when he or she is doing the right thing, such as sitting. Your dog will learn over time that sitting when instructed to do so will make him receive candy and rewards. 5. Satisfy your Labrador Retriever's Stomach These dogs love food a lot and are a great incentive for them, so reward good behavior with food and your dog will repeat these good behavior. Food rewards should be small, like dog candy. 
Cooked kidneys are a cheaper alternative to buying dog candy and are easy to cook and chop, and many dogs may make an effort to please their owner to get their regular food. Give your dog candy as a reward for the good behavior you want to encourage as an initial method of training. Replace sweets with praise as a reward, otherwise your dog will gain weight and possibly be obese. As another solution, you can calculate your dog's daily food share and split a small portion of it for use as a reward. This will help you avoid gaining your dog's weight during the training process. Some trainers advise those who have dogs with concentration and attention problems to make their dogs deserve any food you give them instead of feeding them the entire meal, and that way, if you have this problem, your dog will focus heavily on you and his food, which will make it easier for him to understand that he should it is worth the food to get it. 6. Make giving your treats and rewards less than expected. When your dog gets used to doing your thing, limit his candy and rewards. A dog that gets candy and a reward every time his owner executes a dropping dog, because candy has become easy for him. When you stop giving him candy once, your dog will think a lot and make him wonder if he hasn't seated or done right or right, so he will work harder to please you and please. You can reward him after the fourth or fifth order so he always focuses on getting dessert without feeling too hard to reach. 7. Expand the training process. Test your Labrador Retriever dog in different situations and add some distractions and distractions. When you give him simple, basic commands, such as, sit or wait, in a quiet place in your yard, try doing this in the presence of other distractions until the dog learns to obey those commands and focus on you no matter what distractions are present. Add a noise, trainer, or other animal if needed. When your dog gets distracted to have trouble concentrating, break into his thoughts by talking to him, giving him an order, or doing something like putting your foot on the ground. Practice distraction with candy and rewards in the noisy and home environment, and always follow commands with flattery, candies, and rewards. When you trust more in your dog's ability to remain under control, add more difficult levels such as walking with him next to the house or in a dog park to strengthen his skills and work on them. Go to more crowded areas when your dog becomes obedient to orders like leave it or see me. Slowly train to progress against added distractions and will increase your confidence in your dog's ability to handle the crowds and distractions available. That is why your dog has good behaviors so that he behaves right in situations where other people and animals are present. 8. Register for an approved dog training program. Animal shelters, pet stores, and other organizations offer training programs at a minimal cost. Consider attending a class before enrolling in these courses to ensure you are satisfied with the type of training offered. You may want to seek a professional trainer as another solution. The specialized trainer has great knowledge about dogs and will help you learn the basic skills of controlling and handling your dog. Having a professional trainer is beneficial in the long run regardless of its cost, as this will help you and your active dog to communicate effectively together. Teaching your dog to act well while other dogs are an important part of training, so try to attend puppy classes. Many veterinary clinics hold training classes for puppies, attendees will receive the first vaccination of puppies, and only healthy puppies will be allowed to attend. The main benefit of training puppies is to have confidence and social skills and to behave well while there is another result. Method 2 Become a good coach 1. Prepare well. Search and study appropriate training methods before actually training your dog. Check these online, local libraries and local organizations. You can ask advice from a veterinarian. Remember, the more you know, the better you will know how to deal with different circumstances. Also make sure you have what you need to effectively and successfully train your dog. Buy a clicker if you plan to train the dog by clicking and using the appropriate collar and strap. The ligament should not be longer than 1.8 meters. The laces most suitable for training are made of leather. Always inspect your items to ensure they are safe and properly installed and that they are not subject to cut or unwinding. 2. Use a reward-based training mechanism. This mechanism is best suited for Labrador Retriever dogs, and is made on the basis of rewarding the dog for good behavior and ignoring it for bad behavior. Punishment is not part of this training method. 
it depends on the idea of using the most influential catalyst for a Labrador to train. So reward him with food, attention, and affection. The dog will make an effort to repeat the behavior that gave him a reward or flattery, while the dog will stop repeating the unwanted behavior that you ignored because of this behavior will not benefit him at all and will become a waste of energy and not worth repeating. 3. Choose the right times and places. Training will work best if you devote a mini training session, 10 to 15 minutes, twice daily. Try to train the dog in times when he is neither tired nor very energetic. For example, if you're out of the house all day and go home, it might be better to let the puppy run around and have fun about himself for 5 minutes in the home yard first, or take the adult dog for a short hike before starting to focus on the training session. Try to train the dog in a place with a few distractions and to get the dog's full focus and attention. The best time to train is the one before your meal, because the dog will tend to work hard to deserve the delicacy. 4. Be accurate and clear. Instructions should be simple, short, clear, and continuous, such as no, leave, wait, stop and bring, which are strong, simple, and clear orders. Don't talk to your dog. He is not a human being who assimilates the language in our own way. Whole sentences, like, stop doing this please or stop chewing the table will not work because it is very complicated. Experts believe that dogs record the first part of the word as the most important part of the matter, so long commands like, sit down boy if you want sweets will confuse him more. Say one word instead, like sit down. 5. Be firm and in control. Shouting in any dog is not considered beneficial or beneficial, especially if it is Labrador Retriever's dog that gets excited and innately excited. Use a firm, cheerful, and satisfying tone when you give your dog his instructions, do not shout or lose control. Dogs have high intuition and will recognize your anger or distress and may behave the same way. The tone of sound is very important because dogs do not recognize and absorb our language in the same way we do, so the way you say it may mean a lot more than what you basically say. At the same time, positive, cheerful, Assertive and firm commands will express what you want your dog to do. 6. Consider using hand gestures. Try to use gestures and hand gestures as you say it orally. For example, raise your hand at the same time you say to your dog, sit down. Dog behavior specialists see dogs looking for multiple clues to understand what we want to do, including command words, tone of voice, and body language. 7. Give your responses and orders in a timely manner. If you blame your dog long after the accident, your reaction will be useless. If you want to reproach or correct your dog's behavior, do so while he is already doing it or just seconds after doing it. The dogs forget the event after seconds of doing it, so take your reaction immediately and immediately to facilitate the process of retraining and correcting the dog's behavior. 8. Hold the same approach. Be consistent and consistent with your dog's orders and desires. This will help your dog to understand what is expected of him. Do not forget to apply training during daily activities, every time and place so that your dog does not think that orders like sit and wait are orders that only apply in the yard or at home. When applying commands in public places, your Labrador Retriever will help your dog understand that he must obey those commands under any circumstances. Continuity is the secret to having good behavior all the time to become a dog character, and that will turn your dog into a well-trained and well-trained pet. 9. Share the whole family with you. If you live in a house with more than one person, your family will need training, too. Explain to your family and visitors what your dog is allowed to do and what he is not allowed to do. For example, if you don't allow anyone to feed your Labrador Retriever dog on the dining table, let others know about that rule. If a member of your family or a visitor does not know this rule, your dog may be fed what he will confuse and will interfere with the exercises and exercises that you have done with him. Make sure all residents of the house use the same command words. Your dog will confuse you using different words for the same thing and will disrupt his progress. Method 3 Understand your dog's species 1 Remember, dogs are not fully trained breed. 
Keep in mind that your dog was not born knowing the rules of living in a human world. If your dog makes a mistake, this is not proof that he is a bad dog, but rather because he does what Labrador Retrievers will do until they teach him new behaviors. To educate yourself about the Labrador Retriever family. Labrador Retrievers are generally smart, happy, and playful dogs, so you need attention and an outlet for their energy. These dogs are originally from Newfoundland Island, where hunters have used them to restore fishing and fishing nets, and to this day, these dogs are good workers and skilled swimmers, and this makes them highly trained dogs. Labrador dogs are used in many jobs due to their versatility, such as, search and rescue operations, with the police, drug detection, assistance for the blind and other functions. 3. Reward Labrador Retrievers in a manner that suits their species. You will need to understand what dogs want and need to be trained well. For example, you should know that these dogs are stimulated with food very high and will do anything to get their reward, as these dogs love passion and love to please their owner, which means that the training process must include these internal characteristics of this family, and this will lead to training certainly successful. Remember that Labrador Retrievers are a very lively and active species. A dog with fewer opportunities to vent will become difficult to train. Make sure your dog gets enough walking and jogging, and incorporate training at these times. Consider giving your dog what he needs, ensuring that he does not perform bad behavior. For example, these dogs need to play and walk a lot, and if you don't, your dog will become bored and mad to destroy things. Increasing physical activity can help keep your dog healthy and tired as well. Keep your dog active by playing with it and walking at least twice daily. Useful ideas Enjoy your Labrador dog, these dogs are very cool. Be fair, steady, and clear with him, and your dog will reward you with love and affection. Warnings Don't punish your Labrador retriever when you find him making a mistake because that will confuse the dog and he will not be able to associate what he did with the punishment. What will result from the punishment is to avoid you and warn you against you because you punished him for a reason that is not clear to him. Avoid using collars with your dog. Many people oppose the use of electric hoops and there is disagreement about it, as it should be used by professional professionals only and for special and limited training purposes such as hunting and other work that requires long distances and others. Electric hoops can cause severe damage and injury to your dog, moreover, if you do not use it properly, it may confuse your dog and make him more aggressive. Hoops should be used as a last resort and with the help of a trained instructor. Do not try to train your dog with a collar yourself. Comment, subscribe and activate the bell to receive all new and information about your favorite animal.